Let's talk about the Gorgon Silent Support Carrier. This thing's pretty awesome. It's got two support uh, heavy fighter slots, whatever you want to call it. It's a technically advanced repair platform that enables fast turnaround repairs for squadrons from a whole fleet. A powered comms array allows it to transmit the results of its high fidelity risk simulator to individual squadrons. TLDR, it launches bombers, it fixes them quick, and it can tell them how to fly better. So we're going to use it against a uh, a singular colonial defender. Armor mostly 45s left, right, top, and bottom. It's uh doesn't have very good rear armor, but it's got wonderful forward facing armor. We'll launch uh Well no, let's not launch the Vespid Bombers. Let's uh let's wait. Until they launch their uh fighters. I'm not gonna be needing engineering, and I'm not gonna be needing an armory. Uh, for now, I will not need my hangar. So we can have three systems uh, overclocked, which is pretty Distribution good. complete. Max nav, max fire control, max Dreadus range. Nice. Distribution complete. So the Dreadus range on this thing is, looks like about 88 or 90 units. Turrets don't have that much of a range. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 units. A surprising amount of forward firepower, actually. And in terms of mobility, it can go about uh, 25 units per turn. Calculating. And its machine learning makes uh, anything near it be more basic. And its forward facing weapons are surprisingly effective. Like, you don't really want to go head-to-head -head with this thing if you can avoid it. Like, look at it. Just so wonderful. Um... I'm gonna want Dreadus range. And I definitely want my my hangar for now, until I, uh, I will keep it everything as they as they are for now until I take care of calculating fighters then I will commit my bombers but the thing is best with bombers make easy targets for fighters hostile so, unit okay. identified there she is now I don't need my navigation so much anymore Distribution complete. No top or bottom facing weapons, fortunately, or unfortunately. Let's see what this tends to do to those incoming fighters. Repair bay can be used to repair our own radios, which are very nice. they're going to ignore my bombers which is good for me bad for them and I guess uh, yeah just uh, focus fire on that thing 
and we'll take it out. Recalling squadron. Updating squadron dynamic. Confirmed. Keep an eye on those vipers. And maybe let's climb. Let's try not to run into this guy. But yeah, this machine learning makes it makes the targets a bit more evasive so they can land better. And we'll launch another wave of Vespid bombers and we'll see what these guys do. another bombing run there guys and then return to base the Gorgon is the one that kind of properly behaves like an aircraft carrier like it just sorties fighters and bombers and calls them back after they do their mission sends them out again against targets of similar size uh, you're probably going to have a harder time fighting a Gorgon even the carrier might have a bit of a difficult time with it just because of the how quick uh, it can turn around its uh, bombers I mean, it's got enough firepower, especially on the front, so, like, it's got enough firepower to discourage pursuers who are attacking the uh, bombers, but at the same time, uh, perhaps not enough for a protracted fight. But it does have bombers. And with the machine learning, you just keep sorting your bombers. Calculating. They let them do all the work. Machine learning keeps them alive. Boom. On its own, the Gorgon like is kind of formidable. It will just keep like launching um, its bombers it can use machine learning to make the bombers harder to hit on their way back in it can repair them quick send them out again to another bombing run now mind you it did take uh, four bombing runs on a defender to take it down which is not great because the defender is kind of flimsy so, like, the munitions on this thing are, they're great for shooting down fighters, uh, not so great for dealing with capital ships, but that's what your bombers are for. Um, I love it. I have made a fleet... This is all this. The Gorgon is the core of the fleet. It's supported by three Talons and two Sresnes. It's it's a hard anti-fighter. The Sresnes keep the uh, softer capital ships of trouble from fighter attack, and I send out fighters and bombers to pulverize their ships. 
it's uh it works all right it's not, not my best I, I, uh, I was able to beat it with uh, a Janus a Heracles and an Atlas so even with all of the fighters that it has um, it was still susceptible to uh, melee ranged brawlers and that's kind of kind of what beats fighters fighters beat missiles but if you get nice and close to the capital ships fighters help a bit but those ships are fighters are not meant to take on a uh, you know, ship of similar size in terms of armor and uh, weapons when it's specifically made to take on other capital ships this one this one against the um, a capital ship killer would fare not too well, and it would suffer greatly against munitions. So, it's it's a very capable ship, but best not left on its own.